Alright. Alright, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the HB official live stream. I'm Keith, the community manager for the golf club here at HB Studios. Today we're gonna do two more playthroughs for the rookie design contest. And I have a special guest with me, one of the guest judges. Driver T, how are you? Excellent, excellent. All right, so uh, we're technically not going in order for streaming. Uh, we've I've streamed the first four so far. I will go back and uh, stream some of the other ones. Xavier's coming up, Laurel Run. Maybe tomorrow I can get to those. Maybe even tonight, maybe I'll do two more. Uh, still got Velvet Engelberg to go. Campo to golf still to be streamed and Nat Peak Bay, but we've played through those so far, so we're up to these two. So we're going to play them as they'll be fresh on our minds here as we play through these two. So that's what we're going to do for today's round. So, first course uh, Deer Harbor at Orcas Islands. This is by Skoll. All right, let me pull up here. Let me just get the Twitch looking good. There we go. So um, I'm actually on my PC. It's just easier to stream here. And Driver is on the Xbox, but we're going to try and play along as best we can. And that way we can talk about things that we see. So we'll try and keep pace as we go along. Nice. Yep. Let me do the same. See a nice little boat out there. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it looks good. I like how he's got the carpets come down to like bridges that go out to different islands and things. That's kind of cool. All right. Uh, welcome to anybody who's in chat. Let's take a peek. Yeah, yeah. got Maurice in there. What's up? I see a driver teasing the chat too. <laughs> <laughs> Right. <laughs> yep. Yep. All right. So I'm all set to go on the first tee. All right. Let's do it. So we got nice little par four here. Uh, looks like Boreal theme, I think. Maybe colors slightly changed. Really? Go back. Where he says he's working and watching. Nice. Excellent. Um, trying to swing around and see. Uh, kind of hard to tell. I'll have to look. I'll have to look and see in the next one. Yeah, I just hit my shot. I was kind of trying to zoom back around, but sometimes it's tough to get back into those, those cameras there. So, all right. It is? Yep. I like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I found the left side, so I, I used all, almost all of it there. No, no, I didn't. <laughs> no, I used the whole thing, though. I'm about 10, 15 feet from the left side. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I was looking at the bunkers by the, uh, by the green there. Looks pretty decent. What do you think about not having a fairway go up to the green? Is that something that you do? Do you always have it go to the green or not necessarily? Hey Fusion, how's it going? Uh, this is Driver T, one of the judges. He is on Xbox, and I'm playing it on my PC as we as we're gonna play along here. Uh, Fusion says because we can't hear them. Well, 
Interesting. Okay. Uh, maybe we should switch over to Skype then. And maybe that's not coming through. Alright guys, hang on. We're going to try and switch over to Skype here and see if that'll work out better. We're in the Xbox chat and it's coming through my Windows PC, so I thought it would come through the stream, but apparently not. Alright, so I'm going to turn off the Xbox chat here. <laughs> Jesus says you're just talking to yourself. Pretty standard for me. Yep. Yeah. Pretty much. There's nothing new there, so yeah. <laughs> How was your day? It was great. How was yours? Oh, I was fine. <laughs> Alright, driver's just getting Skype loaded up and then we'll we'll try and switch over to that. Hopefully there won't be any volume issues. Sometimes when you s get into Skype in the middle of the stream, it, it uh, the volume kind of acts goofy, but let's see. <laughs> uh, <it's> updating Skype. <laughs> here now I've got you yeah oh, oh did you oh, you birded all right let me uh, while you're getting set up there maybe I'll I'll take my putt here fairly flat it's certainly around the pin is pretty flat anyway 144 on the Oh, did I hit it? Yeah, I did. There we go. All right. <laughs> All right. In the meantime, we'll take a look at number two while you're. Yeah, the texture should be. I mean, it should be the same, right? I mean, ah, uh, uh, maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm trying to see what this texture is on this T box. Could be green texture, yeah, because the fairway is, the fairway does have that lighter, that lighter color to it. Hmm, interesting, interesting little U-shaped fairway here. <laughs> need to get the, yeah, it's a high time in the summer. You need to get that watering crew out there. Yeah, they're a little bit better in the sculpting here on this big fairway bunker. It's kind of flat there, just kind of goes up with the rise there, and same here. Alright, not bad, not bad. We should be... Scott says it's Len who knows how to stream. Alright, guys in chat, let me... Let me know how that works. I'm gonna turn off the other one here. Uh, let me leave here. All right, we uh, still good. Oh, getting some. It's kind of staticky on your Skype. <laughs> Yeah, it's still, it's got a little bit of static in there. Oh, hang on, keep, keep talking. Oh, I lost him. Uh, yeah, just don't let Brett design official courses. Ah, I saw, I caught a little bit of his stream. He was, he was having some issues. All right, let's see if we can get... 
Hello, sir. Hello. All right, I can hear you. All right, let's see. Let me know in chat uh, how everybody sounds. We'll see. Hopefully it's working now. All right, so I'm still on the second tee box, as you could probably. I can hear you fine. All right, guys, uh, Marie says you can only hear me, but there is a little bit of a delay. So let's see if... I can hear you fine. We'll just see what the stream, uh, the chat says. There is a little bit of a delay, so they may have. Yeah. So, guys in chat, just let us know. But, uh, yep. So, in the meantime, let's take a look here. I'm about to hit my T shot number two. I guess I'll go out to the right. Not really sure why would you ever go to the left side, though. You know that? Because that right fairway, pretty far out even in the strongest winds you're still going to hit that right fairway and to be honest I mean you really probably want to come in from the right side because you have a f straight shot in uh, Fusion says it's doing the Skype thing where you have to restart alright let me uh, let me stop the stream real quick and, and I'll jump it right back on it does that I guess sometimes if you join in the middle of a stream it, it acts goofy so let me stop it real quick and We'll start up back again. Hang on, guys. Are back. Sorry for that little delay. Hopefully now the uh, sound will be good. Uh, yeah. Let us know in chat how things are working. I'm here with uh, Driver T, one of the other judges. We're looking at two of the courses here for today. Um, in case you joined in after I had started the stream the first time. But we're going to look at Deer Harbor at Orcas Island and Silver Lake. So I am going to stream. I know that's not in order of what was listed on the site, but these are the two. We haven't played these yet, so we wanted to do these while they were fresh for us. I'll go back and I'll I'll do... I've done the first four. I think I stopped. The next one on the list is St. Xavier, so I'll go back and stream those uh, at some point. So everybody will get a shot on the stream. All right. Uh... Yep, let us know in chat. Let us know if you can if you can hear driver T and we will be be ready to keep going here. Uh all right. Oh, you're on the green. Okay. Let me hit up here. I'm get my T shot. Yeah. I play the No. <laughs> they both hit their balls OB. Oh, okay. They hit balls again and they both hit them OB and they finally just said, no, go ahead. I don't think I've ever had that before. Yeah, failure to play through. Oh, this looks good. Go in. Oh. Uh, hey, Mello, how's it going? Uh, Fusion said he, you're still super, super quiet. I mean, you sound fine in my headset, though. That's odd. All right. He's going to try and turn up his volume a little bit there and see. It sounds fine in my headset, but maybe not coming through the stream. Yeah, I've got them all wide open. All right. Maybe I'll just eat the microphone a little bit. Make it <laughs> Give it a shot. Give it a shot. All right. So, I mean, for Bird on number two there. Number three. Par three up the hill. He went with a big wide fringe. It's interesting. Punkers look. I, I got to finish out uh, two. Oh. I was playing with my microphone. Oh, sorry. Still back on two. <laughs> uh, bunkers look pretty good. Yeah, we're. We're getting it all squared away here. Let me see. Do, do, 
Alright, so I'm just uh I'm still looking out for the T box. Here we go. So where are the other T boxes from this whole Hmm. Interesting, yeah, good point. Uh Yeah. Those bunkers, that bunker in the front was good. Yeah, maybe missed a little something there if you Yeah. As he went you had had the dummy T's on the other one, so you gotta keep doing them all the holes or at least put the T boxes. The marker should have at least been in the front of this box here, so minor, minor thing there, but you gotta stay consistent. But yeah, I agree. Bunkers look good. And this one look good sculpting. As close as some of these courses are, I mean, every little, every little detail comes into play. Mm-hmm. And I am off here. This is tough little distance. Get up there. No, oh, okay. I hit the fringe and it bounced out. Nice. Uh, I went. I kept 207 and let it ride the wind. It hit the front fridge. Hey, golfer dude, how's it going? Pretty good. We got two courses lined up. This is the first one, Deer Harbor at Orcas Islands. Uh, did I mention? I think this is by who did I say this? Is by this is by Skull. Make sure we get the proper give the proper credit there. All right. Uh, I got 17 footer down a couple. Turn ball. Nope. Not gonna turn. Alright. Alright. Uh, I just tapped in on three. Yeah. Alright. Mellow says, saw Brett streaming the other day, thought they lost their minds and replaced you. <laughs> Fusion says, hashtag save Keith. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I'm not, not going anywhere. Not going anywhere. All right. So, what do you think? Can we take it down that right side? Just go right over the trees. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's too, if you do the overhead, it's too fifty out there, way down the dog leg. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you got. He did a good job. He put the uh, got the dummies. Yeah, but look again. Look, here's what I was talking about on the first day. Look at the dummy two boxes. Oh. Uh, Right, right. So, okay, yeah. So there's a little. Gotta watch that. There is using the use the green texture for the main tee boxes, but then for dummies, use the fairway texture because you can tell that that fairway texture is a lot lighter. So as you can see, as I pan up there, hey, so. The dog the green. What are you about? That's what I'm. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Driving the green, but. I like, it might even hit. Might even hit three wood. Yeah, I think so. All right, let's do it. Obviously, a much very favorable wind to be able to do that. I probably would have put maybe a couple more trees in there to kind of prevent that. I'm just going to trickle across the other side with the three wood. Yep. All right, so get a little chip back here. Not too bad. Now, wait a second. Now, how did that... I thought that fringe was universal. Remember on the par three, it was it was monster? Unless he. I can tell you why. Oh, you know why? Okay. Yeah, he used the fuzzy square. Right, the right. Green, and then when you use it, the fringe is gigantic. I gotcha. That's right. Yep. Good call. So it's like that was more of a stock shape. Well, this is a stock shape green too. But it wasn't the fuzzy. Yeah, it was the fuzzy. I never used the fuzzy ones for my yeah. greens. That's why. Yeah. And he chips in <laughs> for the the easy eagle. <clears throat> yeah, I would probably would have gone. Uh, just my personal thing. I probably would have put a couple more trees down that right side to make it extremely difficult. I mean, maybe still possible, but something you'd have to really shape or just kind of get lucky through the branches. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Uh, Mello says, how many courses did you review before this one? We've done, I've done four on the stream. This is what, course number... This, oh, this is the first one, yeah, for today. So we'll do one more after this. 
and uh, we've played through nine of them. This is our tenth course, so we wanted to do two fresh courses that we haven't played on the stream, but I'll go back and definitely stream the other ones, so make sure everybody gets a, a chance to be on the stream. Mm. Yeah, and again, you know, it's one of those things where. He's an Xbox guy too, so. You yeah. Know, when, you're, when, you're do it, when you're building courses on Xbox, the, that grass doesn't show up to you for all the people mm -hmm. Exactly. So. You kind of <coughs> think about it and make it small, just knowing that it probably show up to the PC guys a little better. Right, right. And that's usually what happens is. You yeah, know, they, they built that a little bit too tall, just so it'll stand out, but yeah. the problem is when you get close to it, then it looks it looks a little crazy. It even kind of looks a little crazy from the T. You can tell yeah. it's it's it monstrous. Makes, makes it look fake. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I agree. The other thing here, too, is the fairway. I, I'd rather see a little, a little more smoothness to it instead of the big, you know, jut-ins every time like that. But, uh, all right. Telephone is rigging. We're gonna let it go. All right, let me hit my tee shot here and get out there to check it out. Uh, Fusion says I heard they're taking out the chip from TGC2 flop shots only. Oh, that would be that'd be bad. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> he knows more info than I do. Uh, <laughs> have some crazy competitions. We should do that now. We should have like a. You can only go around the course in flop shots or something. See what people shoot. Uh, golfer dudes, a shout out to your Mets for giving me one of the best moments in my life watching sports. Cologne, Bartolo Colon's home run on Saturday. What a great moment. That was yeah, pretty unbelievable. Guy is the oldest player to ever hit a home run. I think I, is that or his first home run. Oldest player for their first home run. He was in his 40s before he hit one. That was amazing. And then it took him like an hour to run around the bases. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's take a look at this here. Uh, retaining wall's got a little bit of trouble here on the right, on the far right side. It doesn't, it didn't get the land to meet up with it a little bit. Yeah. So it's just needs a cap. Yeah. Well, if you go if you go to the green side and look backwards, you see that the land didn't. You got to raise that up a little bit. So a little sculpting issue there. You just got to raise that up to meet up with the the little platform piece that sticks out. So just keep an eye on that. Otherwise, uh, the rest of it looks pretty good. They they are tough. Yep, I agree. All right, I'm teeing off on five. Oh no, my second shot is par four, not T. Alright, not too bad. Alright, I just hit my shot. Um, Mellis says, hashtag play for flops. Yeah. Fusion, I thought that was cute playing for the Mets more than a passing resemblance. Oh boy. Come on now. I wish I was playing for the Mets, but <laughs> I don't think I look like Bartolo Colon. Do I? Please. <laughs> No dinner for me tonight. Uh, Cologne's homer Trout was probably as fast as he could run. <laughs> Calvert, he says, yeah, it was, he was chugging along. All right, 25 footer up four here. Stay on line. No. Okay. Again, up by the green, same type of thing. You know, monster grass is there. So just something to keep a, keep a thought on. I mean, I know you sometimes, especially with consoles that don't have the draw distance, you want to be able to see them from the tee box, but in order to do that, you have to make them like Jurassic Park, so you got to be careful and and kind of give it up from the tee and just know that when you'll see it as you get down get down the hole. All right. So what do we got here? I see that. Yep. I was just noticing that. All right. That's good. Grass is there. Uh, not a bad idea with the green. Green complex is kind of cool. The bunkers could use a little work, as you can see. They're kind of, kind of flat, and then it kind of rises up. So you want to get those a little more consistent. 
but kind of a neat idea. I've actually played, I've played a few holes in my left hand that are kind of like that, that have this raised up green with the bunkers around. I don't know if I've had bunkers all the way around, <laughs> but certainly like fronting it, so it's kind of cool. Not a bad idea there. Let's see what we can do here. Get up. Oh, all right. Not a bad shot at all there. Mm, golfers is not a bad course, though, for a rookie designer. Minor grapes, but overall playability is good. Yep. Yeah, yeah, most of this stuff is minor stuff, you know. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah, I mean, then it's tough when you're doing this judging to not sound negative. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's tough. You got to be able to. There's got to be a reason for you to say one course is better than the other, because you got to ultimately come up with a, with a rating. So it makes it tough. So sometimes you are have to be a little nitpicky and yeah. be able to find the things. But I mean, it's all stuff that, correctable for sure. I mean, it's just yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah, with everybody, I think, you know, some of the stuff you come up with and then you just, you know, maybe you're not used to the designer or you pick up different tips and tricks and things, so, uh, yeah. I'm going over that big, that big mound that's straight out there between the trees. I <laughs> uh, yeah, I got it. I landed in the fringe, you know, the light rough there but kicked out. Uh, golfer says on the sixth hole good idea but needs to have a bailout area like an apron or a runoff on six. Oh on the yeah on the par on the par three there. Yeah that would have been wouldn't be bad. I get, you know higher winds probably would have been a little bit tougher but maybe instead of putting all those bunkers in the back have a, a runoff a fairway in the back there that could have been that could have been kind of cool. The green seems fairly decent size and they're pr they're pretty receptive. I mean the greens aren't Aren't that firm, so let's see. All right, kind of a cool bunker there. I like, you know, some different, different shapes. So you made a little custom bunker design. That's good. That looks pretty good right there. Oh, get, go in. Oh, gonna come up just a hair short. All right, so I would say. What do you, Greens are medium at most. I don't think they're soft, but they're probably medium. Yeah, I agree. Alright, nice little fence back there. Some visual interest. I'm going to tap in for the bird. Alright. Are you through number seven? I am on number 18. Alright, I am as well. So, what do we got? Par five. Yeah, well, that's, yeah, see here, we, we got all these little, like, you know, little loops, you know, in and out, in and out, in and out, kind of keeps going back and forth. I think if you take, there's, I like to take, uh, I'm not going to be able to describe it, it kind of looks like a little bit of a hot dog sort of shape, but it's it's in, like, the top left-hand corner on one of the pages, and I like to take that one, because it almost gives you a straight line, but if you were to take it and cut it here, and then reverse it so that the outer bend is into the fairway. You could cut some of this off and kind of get in between where the two far ends of the loop as I'm kind of doing here with the mouse. If you get it in there, you could actually kind of bend it back this way and you have a nice little curve and do the same in here. You could have to make those nice little curves through the fairway. So the, the left side is fine. I don't mind the left side, but this right side, it's too, too pointy. You know what I mean? <laughs> so if you just smooth that out, I think to match up more along the way the left side of the fairway looks, I think that would that would be ideal. Yep, yeah, the right side's good. Yeah, that's a good one. I like to see how that you see how it's raised up, so now you can see the whole 
You don't have to see the whole bunker. As long as you can see even just a piece of it, that's all you really want. I mean, obviously, it's a video game, so you can go up high and scope down and everything, but you want to have that look from the tee box where you're looking out and you see, just like real life, you know, you'd see a piece of that bunker. You don't see every bunker on the course, but you want to be able to see little pieces, if at all possible. So I'll usually sculpt either down in front of it or sculpt that back edge back up a little bit just to give you a hint. Uh, Royce, how would you ever cut that? I'm not sure which... Sorry. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm sorry, I missed which hole you were referring to on that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. You need that zero turn radius to... <laughs> yeah. Uh, Golfer 144 is a refreshing putting distance. I would say 95% of course I've played. The last month have been 174 plus. Nothing wrong with that, but variety is good. Yeah. Yeah, always good to have a little bit different there. Alright. Does that have the wide, the wide well, function? Mm-hmm. So it's a little different than, than the rest of the course you can, you know, as far as when you look at consistency. Yeah, you can see, well, actually, you don't really notice it as much, but it is actually pretty wide. I'm I'm right on the very edge of it now, but it is, it's got to be like a six-foot wide fringe there, but, uh, okay. Yeah, it's a thing. I mean, if you're going to do it, you want to try and stay consistent, I think, and make every make every green like that. Good to do it, I would say. Uh, if you just, how did your PGA rounds go? Not too good. I'm going to miss the cut. I shot minus 5, minus 5. Uh, so at minus 10, looks like the cut line is 11 at the moment. So I'm going to miss it by 1. I'm kind of hoping it'll go up to 12. <laughs> I'm hoping I missed the cut by more than one shot because I really stink. Alright, so I'm just, uh, let me just chip up here. Oh, get in. Oh, I lipped out the chip. Dang. Uh. Alright, let's see. So you have to. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see that. Yeah, that. That grass is. Uh. Yeah, I'm not a fan of. I mean, you have the unplayable lie system, so I'm not. Yep. I'm not a huge fan of in intercourse. Intercourse. Hey, careful. Inter. <laughs> uh, inside the course, OB. <laughs> it's a family stream. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, I guess. I guess it depends. I mean, if you were to do like, you know, a canyon, I guess I would say that would be good, but. Something with just rocks and things. I mean, people could always just hit unplayable, I think. And I think that's what people get into that argument. Well, I got stuck in the rocks and then mm -hmm. I dropped. Well, hey, there's unplayable. Take it. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. If you, if you think you can't hit it out of there, you might as well take it unplayable. Right, right. But I just, I can never remember playing a golf course where I had OD in, in the line of the hole from, you know, from a tee to the mm -hmm. fairway to the green. Yeah, OB close to the hole. Yeah. It's like I have to not to carry the ball over OB. Now, I'm not talking about a hole like St. Andrews where 16, you know, you hit it over the OB, but mm -hmm. it's because you're cutting the hole. Right, right. Yeah, this is, I mean, this is directly between you and the green. Yeah, that's a little bit tough because, I mean, if you come up, you came up a foot short and you hit that hill and it bounces back a little bit. You could be you could be in the OB there. Yeah, it's a little bit tough. But um too bad. Yeah, I'm going. I had to drop down a club and take it over. I'm assuming I'm gonna go too far. Hey Bassman, how's it going? Um do -do 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 -do. So, 28 footer. Keep in mind the speed of the greens are going to get there. Nope. Just 
not getting it to the green uh, to the hole there with that. I'm also used to playing faster greens, <laughs> so you got to concentrate a little more when you get to that. All right, so now overall, not a bad front nine. Like we said, just you know a few things here and there just to keep an eye on something to, you know, for uh, future designs to keep it going forward, but uh, not bad at all so far. Number ten. Yeah. Yeah, it's it is. The other a lot of the holes were I mean I'm not saying negative, I'm just saying it's just it's like I'll just step down into a different <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I mean it looks really good. Yeah. But it does seem like a different it does seem like a different course almost. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I mean the bunkers look really good. A lot of I like how he did a lot of the custom shapes and things, that's cool. A little of both. Yeah, no, no, I mean, they're kind of just for, yeah, definitely just for look. Yeah. Yeah, and that comes down to really trying to just sculpt up that back side of it, and you could have made them a little more visual, it would have made that shot a lot more interesting from the tee box. Still look good. Yeah, but if you had... So, for example, let me go back here. And so, instead of being down here, where you really can't see much, if the view, if, if you had it like that, if that was kind of your view where you could see the backsides of the bunkers and everything like that, would have looked really cool looking out like that. So, you just gotta. I mean, it was just, just a little too low, really. You just barely missed it, but that. Still good. All right, so. 162. So here's again. I mean, it's again personal preference, but same thing. Like I, I would have taken the fairway right up to the green, unless like where he did the rocks. Obviously, of course, you can't have it go up to that, and that's the situation where I wouldn't. But I think otherwise, if it's just kind of a gradual slope like it is here, I think I would take the fairway right up to the green. But uh, it doesn't have to be. That's just personal preference thing for me. It, it does seem to give it a good look though when you, when you bring it into the green. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep, I agree. Uh, Goffer, oh shoot, I missed the green. Goffer dude said, "Do you feel like all the par threes need to varying length with regard to designing, or does not matter in your opinion?" Um, I, I like to try and vary them up a little bit. Um, uh, doesn't have to be. I mean, I've played some courses where it seemed like every par, you know, every par three was like. 148 or 164 or something like that. They all seem to be in the same range, but I prefer to just mix it up a little bit. So maybe have you play different clubs. I'm sure I've built courses that have at least two of them that are similar distance, but uh, I don't know. I think it's nice to put a little variety in there. All right, so I got again some major size grasses around here, but not the end of the world. Just missed it. All right, I'm in on number ten. Let me scoot up a little bit. There we go. All right. Oh. He's given us run up on. I think all the four fives we played, hasn't he? I think so. Yep. Yep, same. What's your drive it up there? So this, I like this. Uh, this fairway is definitely good. I like the way. See, he's got more, more of the rounded shapes and not too many of those big giant cut-ins. So that's, that was good there. <coughs> All right, so. Uh, Coffer dude, I remember Yeti said a while back that he liked a par three, which used a wedge, short iron, long iron, or fairway. But as you said, it's more a personal preference objective. Yeah, I think as long as they're not all like within, you know, three, four yards of each other, I make it. Well, at least maybe you know, even if you had two and two with similar type clubs, long irons and short irons or something. <laughs> I 
That's true. Yeah, if you're if you're making a tough course, then you're not going to put in really a 110 yard par three. It's probably not going to happen. Unless it's like sawgrass in an island or something. Like that. Yeah. Then you. Yeah. Yeah. See so now, this is how, like I was saying, this is how I probably would have done the other holes where the fairway just runs right up into the green. Yeah. So you got a little bit of mixture. You know, you got some holes that don't go up to it, some that do, so. Uh, Alright. Just chipping up. Get there, ball. Not a bad little chip. Alright, hole number 12 here. Oh, got a lighthouse out there. Very nice, very nice. Uh, okay, goes out to the left out there. Yeah, the green's protected. A little island, or a little peninsula almost. Like. Yeah, I see that. The bunker, not my favorite. It's kind of a... It looks like an udder. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a cow udder, or if, or if you look at it from the other direction, it almost could look like a turtle, sort of. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think you know, it could use a little more... A little more on the sculpting that of that one there. Well, the one thing I'll say about this bunker is really never going to come into play. Because why would I ever get a shot? I have no fairway over here. That, that's true. Yeah. So why would I ever get a shot over here? That's true. Yeah, it probably won't really come in, ever really come into play because you can't reach the green. And so once I hit it down here in the fairway, that, that bunker's not falling apart. Yeah, that's true. Oh, really, be boring. That's true. So Right, that's where. Really and then extend the fairway on up to the little walkway piece. Mm -hmm. Then you've got people going, oh, maybe I can get closer by trying to take on that bunker. Exactly, yeah. So this bunker should ideally would have been in here, and then this fairway could have come out into here more, or even had the whole. Yeah. Even, even that bunker stayed where it was and just extended over into here, and then you could extend the fairway behind it, and then it, then it really comes into play. But as it is now, you're right, it doesn't. Probably would never really come into play on that situation. All right. The good part, I think, if I seem to remember correctly, it seems like the greens have been pretty consistent in terms of size. I mean, they're not huge, but it's been consistent the whole way through, and they're very receptive, so that's good. Yeah, let's have that not go in. Nope, I think as long as you're not using the same, like, two or three shapes through the whole thing. I mean, if you use a bunch of different shapes, and I think you're good there. Alright, so on to all 13. Uh, not a huge fan of the sculpting there, but the promontory there, I mean, I, I kind of get the idea behind it, but it's, the yeah, on 13 might be a little harsh there, I don't. Yeah, it's one of those things where you, you need to decorate it up with some stuff. Mm-hmm. Some bushes and grass and yeah, cut some rocks in there. I think maybe, maybe if you cut that in half, like maybe half that height would have been good. And then you could have put some trees and things to to block it because as it is, it's just kind of ugly the way it <laughs> the way it just looks like that with the texture that comes up when you lift it up so high like that. Like the bottom part is good, so I mean if you cut that off, maybe at the top of the flag here, you could have had the bushes and things covering most of it. So that I think that would have been, I think that would have come out a lot better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could have seen more. You could have seen, you know, more than just the tips of the trees that you had in the background. You would have seen a little more of those trees. I think that would have, that would have looked a little cooler. All right, so we got a fairly flat putt here. Yeah. Oh no. 
What's up, Storm Golf? Thanks for uh, tuning in. We're in the middle here of the first course, Deer Harbor at Orcas Islands. This is by Skoll. So we're going to finish up this one, and then we're going to play Silver Lake. Be the second course. All part of the Rookie Design Contest. Alright, I like this hole a lot. This is really cool. I like the way it... See, it's funny, you know, those last few holes have all been so wide open along. I guess those were the ones that played along the lake. And now we've kind of gone back into the trees, but I really like the way this one looks. This is, this is a good hole. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so he did. Yeah, this has got a good shape to the fairway. I like the way it's, it kind of snakes through. It looks good. Yeah, good. What's up, Big Daddy Hack? How's it going? Uh, Storm says, I had an idea for a design contest. What if I traced a course and anyone that wanted to could go in and add their own trees, sculpting, etc., but the course was the same layout? Well, it's great for those PC guys, but at least yeah. these guys and PS4 guys out. Yeah, it, it would have to be PC only, of course, because yeah. that's the only way you could actually send yeah. someone. <laughs> Driver too is not a fan, he says. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the only downside is you can't share it, but if you wanted to do, you know, uh, PC contests, so. I think that could be interesting. I think, didn't they do something like that? I thought, oh, who the heck didn't? Yeah, they've done that one, which that we, we did. I was part of one of them, which has, still hasn't even come out yet. So it's still one in the works. But early on they did one where I thought they had a contest where there was a plot of land was built and you had to build onto it. Or am I, maybe I'm thinking the same thing what you said. I know what you're talking about there. I remember, I, I don't know if that contest went on or not, but there was a discussion about that. Ah, uh, okay. I know there was one already with everybody just building one hole, that, that forum country club it was called or something like that. Yeah, yeah, we. I mean, that was a while ago. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. I have to ask Yeti on that one. He was, he was, uh, putting that together. I, I built the hole for that a long time ago. <laughs> I don't know what happened to that, to that course. Nice. Get in there. Oh, I lipped out. Ah, uh, this one might be my favorite so far. That may be my favorite hole. That was good. All right, fifteen. So again, I think yeah, same thing. I think he used the green. Yep. So he's got the green surface, but then he used fairway for the dummy tee boxes. So you just gotta be careful there. Uh oh, I'm dropping. I'm dropping a three wood based on that that conversation there. <laughs> Yeah, if you go. You get down there and it's okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean that. I would probably would have extended the water down. So if you went over the edge, you would have just gone down into water. That's probably what I would have done. But. Yeah. All right. So let's go there. The other thing I probably would have done is I probably would have lowered that fairway down a little bit because I don't know if you see the stream. I couldn't see the green. Yeah. So maybe just lower yeah, that. Yeah, so just a little bit so that, you know, you get a nice view of the green. You want to be able to see the work that you've done. Well, if you drive it almost to the edge and almost go out of bounds, you'll see the green. Oh, okay. <laughs> so the risk reward is there. Do you want to see the green? Well, then you got to take out the OB. Oh, I, I lipped out. Dang. <laughs> uh, all right. All right, there we go. All right, we're moving on here to hole number 16 here at Deer Harbor at Orcas Islands. <laughs> it 
see. I think he actually used the green surface on these T boxes. <laughs> now, of course, you've you got me thinking about it, and I'm looking for it every time now. So, so just a thing to be aware of. You know, try and stay consistent with uh, yep. with your choice there. All right, that's a pretty good hole too. I like this one. Interesting little driving. Oh, the tree on the corner. Five twenty-nine. Erickson Stone, what's happening? Uh, well, okay. Uh, kind of a yeah, it is a par five, but kind of an odd setup the way they play it down to the green, but. Go for it. That's right. <laughs> Didn't come all the way to the Xbox to lay up. All right, Sam says better. Did a pretty decent job on the, the retaining walls here. Just cruising around. Uh, I, I'm fine either way. Yeah. Yeah, I mean you could if you want. You maybe, maybe right where the points are, used a couple of little smaller pieces. But I don't. Yeah, I don't think the points. I mean, it's got a little bit of a pointy edge to it, but I, I think that's okay. Yeah, I mean, I've seen you know, you've seen it real lot. You've seen walls like that that are angled. Mm -hmm. no, I'm just going straight through the tree. If you get it down here, you get a pretty flat butt. Really. Oh nope, gonna come up short. I hit the trees and got knocked down. Flop it up there. Oh, just missed. Pretty flat up by the green there. Uh, up by the hole. So easy putt. All right. So we got a par three. T band. Check out. Let's see what the bunkers look like. Yeah. I've played a few holes like that where, mm -hmm. you know, they're just, they're, they're really not in play, but they're visually kind of intimidating. Sure. Yeah, I've played, I've definitely played holes like that. You kind of hit through a gap sort of thing, and then it just opens up into a big expanse. Kind of cool. I like how you can see the other hole there in the background behind, across the water. Yeah. It's pretty neat. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna zoom back around for a second, just to. Right there where your ball's rolling up on the screen, but you're you're going past that. Bit. Yeah. Please. Yeah, you take the round tool and you just sink them down, and it leaves it like you took a bite out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Especially right here behind the green, you know, it's not bad to be more natural. Yeah. The other, the other thing I probably would do is just take the heavy rough and just yep. touch it along, so you. You get rid of this brown uh, shoreline, yeah, because it, it's pretty prominent. But that's again, small little thing. But just something I like to do is just touch it along and just to green it up a little bit. It'll kind of it blends it in a little bit better, I think, when you do that. All right, let's go back around. I didn't need to move the whole putting. I could have just zoomed out. <laughs> that's all right. All right, 33 footer down five. Uh, fuse this cut is going to be minus 14 on TBC. Okay, good. Good. I don't feel so bad. I certainly don't want to miss it by one because I bogeyed three three holes in the second round. And save me two plays. <laughs> I only played the first two rounds, wondering if I'd make the cut. So, all right, here we go. 18th hole here at Deer Harbor, Harbor at Orcas Islands. So, par four, is it? Par four little dog leg left. Mm-hmm. 
Good pretty opportunity here. Let's check it out. Yeah, so it's got a nice little nice little marina there, clubhouse stuff, fencing. Not too bad there. Bunker could use a little better sculpting on it. Yeah, he's got some that are really good and some that are, you know, just kind of flat. Yep. Yep. Get up there. There we go. Oh, uh, fusion shot minus eight in round one. Gonna be tight. Yeah, here. Get your work cut out there. Down to oh, I'll get there. Nope. Didn't quite get there. Uh, I'm just seeing a little something. Just going to zoom over and check it out just to point out. Yep. You want to make sure. Yep. You want to make sure fence posts. If you're going to make your fence, you got to put those fence posts in there. Those, you know what I mean? So just those little. Little touches, got to line this up just a little better, get those to meet, put a post in there. From afar, it doesn't look too bad, but that's what we're here to do. We're here to judge on all things creative and... We're here to pull up the covers. Yeah. <laughs> we're inspecting how tight those sheets are fitted and <laughs> can we bounce a quarter off them and everything. So, just something to keep in mind. Very playable, of course. Yeah. Yeah, no, I enjoyed it. Like I said, it's just, there's uh, a lot of small things, you know, like I said, that that retaining wall, just make sure you sculpt up your land, you know, you always want to look at the back side of that retaining wall, make sure that that little cover piece meets up with the land, so you got to watch that, and again, you know, on the fairways, just, uh, I mean, that's my personal preference, I guess, but just to have more of a smooth, more of a smoother, no, it doesn't have to be perfectly smooth, but not having those big jaggies sort of going down the fairway. Uh, what else? And then just, you know, other things, just sort of attention to details, things like the fence posts. You know, it's just something you want to you wanna make sure you take the time there to to make it look good. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, I mean, very playable. You could definitely put up a good score. It was a fun course to play. All right, so I'm giving everybody a 10 there, so let's mark it a 10 and... So Excellent. So we're going to move on to course number two for today. And this is going to be, let me just get the official name. It's called Silver Lake. This is by Nomi823. Good looking picture. Ah, excellent. And that's where it starts, really, for the judging. Is, you know, oh, I got Silver Lake. I got Silver Lake updated pins. Uh, I went Silver Lake, I think. The second. Second one. Well, yeah, not the updated pin, because I think his original, not his original. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, I don't know. Hmm, I don't know what. I don't. Yeah, I don't see his Ericsson Stone and Snavut played it, so I'm gonna guess this is the right one. His name is Nomi823, G-N-O-M-I-E-823. I don't know if that's, his, if that's his forum name or if that's also his gamer tag, but... Uh, Alright, well, I think we're going to go with this one then. And hope this is the proper one. But uh, as I was saying before, the picture, I mean, that's your first, first point of entry right there. That's what we're going to see, so... You know, you want to make it look good, make people interested that to want to play your course. Don't do a blimp shot or something from space. You know that that doesn't really get anybody. Oh wow, this is a winter theme. Nice, I got the he yellow ball. Let's see. Silver Lake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Wow. Okay. Bold, bold statement right, right out of the box with the uh, the choice of theme. I like it. I'm just kind of zooming around here. Little clubhouse in there, not too many, uh, not too many extras. Not that you have to have it, but you know, sometimes that could be the difference. All right, so 
Okay, so I like that little hill with all the bunkers on it. That's kind of cool. And that's what we were kind of talking about before. See how these are kind of raised up? So when you look at it from the tee box, boom, you're, you know there's some trouble over there. So that's good. Good job there. Oh, these bunkers do look really good. Yeah, yeah, it has a nice look to it. Now this, I mean, not, like I said, not every bunker has to be visible. So this first one, yeah, it's not visible. But you see these three and, you know, that gets you... Exactly. So you know that there's some stuff going on over there that you need to be, that I need to be aware of. All right. Uh, I did. I just kind of scanned back. Was just a little clubhouse. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Uh. He does have a multiple tees here. He does. Yep. And again, we got some great wind, don't we? Yeah, twelve. <laughs> Gonna work for it. All right, let me just pull the chat back up here. Uh, let's see. Erickson says the winter theme one. Okay, cool. So we got the right one. Oh, uh, what's up, Mayday? He says hi. I'll just rolled in from work, so sorry if I was if it was already covered. But we jump around the order of rookie courses. Uh, yeah, I just I uh we jumped around a little bit. I did the first four on the stream, and uh. We're doing these two just because we hadn't played them yet, but I'm going to go back and stream the other ones. I have played them already, but I'll go back um, and go back to starting with Xavier on the list. That's the next one that I have to stream. You can tell in the HB forum I have the YouTube link to it. So if it doesn't have a YouTube link, I have not streamed that one yet. Uh, Erickson says, who's the guest? This is Driver T, one of the other, guest, uh, one of the other judges on the, on the contest. He's just having a hard time hearing him. I'm not sure why, but he's. Throw my down, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. I turned his mic down. I, I need to be front and center on the stream. No, uh, we're trying through Skype. I'm not sure. He says his, he's got his mics turned up, but I don't. I'm not sure why it's not coming through. Yeah, because you hear me fine, right? Yeah, I hear you perfectly fine. Yep. Yeah. Wow, we're up to 18 miles an hour. We better tee off before a tornado comes in. Oh, are you? Oh, you did? Oh, all right. I'm babbling away here. Let me hit. Uh, I'm riding the wind. Oh, that's going to work out nice. All right. Uh, seems firm fairways, maybe. All right, let's check it out. Yeah, it's a really interesting theme. I mean, you, the bushes with all the little... Yeah, it's an interesting... Really stand out. <laughs> I actually thought that was a different hole originally, but yeah. Wait, where do these tea boxes go? Oh, they go the other direction. Okay. Yep. All right. Yeah. Interesting design here. Oh, the X, the X bunker. Hopefully, we'll avoid that. Yeah, we should be good. Oops. Okay. Nice. All right. Yep. I got about a five footer here. I'll hopefully just tap this in and be on my way. There we go. All right. Moving on to number two here at Silver Lake. Oh yeah. Yep. Very nice. Yep. Yep. Let's zoom out here and take a look. Oh, we got a little. Little backside retaining wall work there. You almost don't see it. It's on the uh, on the lake. See now that's probably what I would. Mm, I'm not a huge fan of the way this across the water is sculpted there. That really high wall like that. I would have liked to have seen something done there. Maybe cascade it down into the water a little better. Or I mean, it would have been a lot of work to do a retaining wall down that too. But it would have looked awesome if you had seen a retaining wall running down. So maybe just something there. I don't know. Maybe you could have smoothed that down into the water a little bit better. But but still, still really good. Uh, Erickson Stone says, hey, Todd, thanks for volunteering to judge this. Oh, yeah, no problem. It's been fun. Yeah, it's been, been really good. We've got Callie judging as well and CSU Golfer. So we're 
we're working our way through the courses. We've been we've been chatting at night and things and talking about the different courses. So we're moving along. I'm hoping maybe by the end of this week we'll have I'll have everything streamed and maybe we can get the results show going uh, next week. Yeah, I'm kind of looking. I'm I'm still babbling up here. I'm just uh, I'm gonna give it a rip right at the green. I think, right? Oh, I pulled it a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna find the fairway, maybe, and onto the green, and off the green. All right. Yep. Yeah, planting looks pretty good. It's very interesting with you know the icy kind of plants. <laughs> interesting. Right, right. Yeah, you definitely got to change the textures. Looks good off the course in the snow and stuff. Mhm. Mm you know I did one off the course in the snow and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Kind of did the same thing. You know, they tried to make it look overseeded, you know, like Herbie that's going to put in the the cold weather. He's, he's green. I I like the green look. I do too. <laughs> It's kind of almost like the desert. Like you gotta, you gotta green it all up. I think it looks so much better. All right, so putting is 151 on the meter, so not too bad. Didn't, didn't max it out. Did I get? Oh yes. <coughs> yep, I know. I'm just getting to the tee box now. Very good. It's not often that I play it in here. I know. <laughs> How usually I'm racing out forward. Yeah, this is good. I like the look of this as well. It's a nice, it's a nice color to the winter theme. It's not, not sparse. But yeah, it's an interesting, really interesting tee shot. I like it. Again, gives you, gives you just a hint of the bunkers out there, so you know there's some, some trouble. So good job there. Wow, I don't know where to go. Yeah. I'm going to try and work it into the wind and take it right over that bunker there. Uh, is it going to get up on top? It's on top and it kicks through into the fairway. Nice. Yeah, a little bit. And the other little nitpicky thing here is just on this side of the hole. Maybe a little bit of smoothing there, uh, pointing out on the stream. Maybe that could have been smoothed out just a little bit better, but it's it's not bad really. But again, it's one of those things, you know, you just think, how do they cut it, type of thing. Yeah, it has a has a neat look to it. I never do that. Once in a while, I throw a I throw like an apron behind it, you know. A, a, catch all but I usually don't do anything like this. See now the here's a situation where you've just got stuff in front, so obviously that's kinda cool the way the fairway goes up and stops and then starts up again with around the green like that. So that's good. Mm-hmm. I do like the fairway around the green though that's pretty pretty neat. Yeah. It has a neat look to it. Oh hit it. Oh too much. Dang. Alright, 13 footer. Oh, the putter is hot. <laughs> Alright, moving on. I'll tell you what, this, this guy, he's done a really good job with the tee shots. Mm -hmm. the, like the way the tee shots look. Yeah, yeah, the tee shots have a nice presentation to him. He looks, looks really nice off the tee. I like this, I like the area to the left of the green too. That looks pretty cool. The way he did the planting in there. Nice. So the one. Well, you could sort of see the little bunker. It's maybe the one downside is if you could just have just seen the bunkers from the tee, that would have been that would have been ideal. Yeah, yeah. That's really like. I mean, that's getting really nitpicky, but that's what we're here to do. Uh, okay. Let's check it out. 
But otherwise, yeah, I mean, it looks it looks really neat. I like the I like the look off the tee. Oh, too much. To that back bunker. Yep, it's a nice shape to the greens. Okay. Ah, oh, I hit too much. Sit. Nope, too strong out of the bunker there. Darn. Mm, a pin is. Did you? Alright. That pin is close. I mean, it's like half a box, one box from the yellow there and stuff. That's that's pretty borderline, but you can get away with it, I suppose. Unless I go up and come back down to my feet, then I'm going to criticize it more. <laughs> like that. Stay ball. Alright, it stayed. <laughs> All right, so that's hole number four. I made boogie there. Yeah, let's look around here. So. Yeah, 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 I see it. Yeah, you could have banked that hole, had that sculpted up. Well, that's, well... It's hard because this is actually where I was talking about having getting rid of this kind of cliff face. Yeah. Well, you, that's that other hole. That's that hole. yeah. So maybe you could have banked up the bunkers and then just kind of had it softly filter back down to the water. Could have done that. That could have been cool. But yeah, still. Yeah, it is. Yep. Very nice. Nice. Oh, see, he did retaining walls on the front of this. Yeah, so maybe that's probably what it done. I probably would have kept going with the retaining wall around the rocks and down that side, especially since you got a, a straight look onto that that sheer face there. That's probably what I would have done. Yeah, so far, yeah, good looking tee shots on all all the holes. I think the right, planting looks good. It's not it's not too big. You know, it just kind of lets it. Let's it play out. You'll see it when you get there type stuff. You don't have to see it from the tee box. Because trying to make you see it from the tee box long range is, just doesn't work because you have to make them so big. All right. Yeah, it'd be nice to get a like I said, even just a tiny visual, even just seeing like one foot of it, just so you know it's there and makes you think about it. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I definitely don't want anybody to think that we're just trying to rip it apart and everything. I mean, sometimes the stuff that you like so much, you just don't say anything. Yeah, yeah, I agree. So you know, here that's here's a perfect example. Like that's ideal. I like those bunkers on the left there. This part three, number six. Yep. That, that's perfect. Again, same. And that's what you want from the, when, you hit, when you're playing a part four, part five, something like that. And you get a tee shot out in the fairway. You want this kind of look that you capture on the part threes mm -hmm. into those greens as well. Yeah, I mean this looks really good with those bunkers and the way it's sculpted. And again, he did the apron all around the green. It's cool. That's what you want to do. If you're going to kind of make it a design feature, then you want to sort of make sure you do that on on a consistent basis. But he's got some good, good flow to the greens. Uh, some nice little slopes going in them, but nothing too extreme. Okay. Yep. Yeah, nice. Let's see if I can get this one to the hole. Come on now. Ah, oh, Come up short. All 
Alright, I am in on number... What was that, six? Yeah, I'm on the seven tee box here. Alright, you can sort of see the depressions of those bunkers out there, but you can't actually see the sand. But yeah. interesting little idea, like little steps. Step bunkers coming down, it's kind of cool. Uh, gives you a five wood, so you gotta watch. Yep, yep. We got a nasty hip in here I know, it's not helping us. Downwind would actually be pretty fun, because you could probably drive it right over those yep. stepped bunkers there. But like you said, we even w you know with the winter theme, I like the choices that he went with for textures. Yeah, that's cool. I like the, the, the color of the bunker, which I don't use that bunker color much. Mm-hmm. But I like the way it looks. Yeah, yeah, I never use that brownie, you know, more brownish type color on my uh, bunkers. Uh, okay. Give it a rip. Mm, nope. Uh, Mallow said, really impressed with the overall quality of the courses in this. Yeah. I was going to say that. I mean, obviously there's going to be a winner of the contest, but the community is definitely winning too because we're getting a bunch of really good courses out of here. I think you'll find more than more than one is will find their way to the suggested list for sure. Yeah, hopefully you know these guys pick up experience and keep building courses and keep better. Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean half uh forty one footer, get in. Oh but yeah, I mean even uh you know, people who don't win hopefully they'll pick up like you said, experience and some tips and things and and keep continue on building. Six foot it's is gonna break a little bit here. There we go. Alright, I am on eight T box. Right, another another nice one. He's really nailing the, the, the look off the T. Oops. The downsize, we got 16 mile an hour wind. Yeah, that's it. Uh, actually, I lied, it's 17 now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that made my ball a lot. <laughs> I tried to work it into the wind a little bit, so I kept it down the left half of the fairway here, but. Uh, I like it. Got a neat look to it. Uh, wow, into a 17 mile an hour win. At least two clubs. Oh, and it's still, wow. <laughs> I went up two clubs and I still came up short. Wow, that was a huge win. Yeah. Uh, Fusion's all right. Made it. All right. Good. Made the cut. Erickson says it's definitely great exposure for newer designers. That's hard to come by. Yeah, definitely. That was kind of the idea, you know. Figured most most people who would get into a, you know hadn't been in any contests would be newer designers. I mean, it doesn't mean you're never made a course before. It's just you've never been in any of the contests that have been that have been held, but. Yeah, definitely good for exposure for sure. Uh, I got a tough putt here. This is kind of going a couple different ways. Stay straight. Oh, yes. 28 footer. Alright, number nine. Neat little feature of the, all the plants kind of running through the 
diagonally up the hole there. That's cool. Yep, good job with the, the bunker. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh man, this thing is going to go nowhere into this wind, right? <laughs> I don't think we're going to have to lay up. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get across the water. I got 260. Uh-oh. Alright. Does it make it? Uh, yes, I made it. And I got into the fairway. Oh, I hit as well. Come on, wind, bring it back a little bit. Uh-oh. Ooh, wow. I didn't even make the fairway. I came short of the fairway. But it's dry. I must be able to hit it further on Xbox. Okay. <laughs> I forgot to activate my HB cheat codes to hit it extra 100 yards. <laughs> All right, just looking at the bunkers there. Looks pretty good. I like the way he's kind of molded the, the green around it. That's cool. Uh, all right, so. Wow. Well. Oh, came up short. All right, there we go. Got my bird. Okay, so that is the front nine. Really good so far. Really liking a lot of what he's done. Just a few nitpicks here or there. Really, that's about that's about it. But uh, let's check the check out his retaining wall here so again. Well, little trouble with the retaining wall. Again, he didn't same as the last time. Oh, let me get it in on the stream here didn't quite lift up the land far enough. I mean, it's not a, not a big deal when you're looking at it from the other side. It looks perfect, but, you know, you could end up, uh, you could be on the green looking backwards, you know, or looking back. So, got to gotta get it fixed up there. Can't hide it. <laughs> yeah, you can always raise it a little bit, do the old trickery where you do the double retaining wall. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, so you see, so you definitely got to raise that land up a little bit to meet that to meet that overhang piece. Good looking shot. But yeah, I mean it's not not the end of the world, it's just something to keep in mind. Yeah, it looks really nice. I like I mean I love the look of the retaining wall from this side of the from this side of the water. It looks really good. <coughs> Got those two bunkers right there in the front and you can see them, so that's good. You get a little bit of visual on the bunkers. It's hard to get that uh Ah, uh, sit. Ah. Yes. Yep. All right. So here's here's exactly what I was talking about. And if you look at my shot now, I'm looking back towards that retaining wall, and I can see, you know, I can see underneath that piece there. So you gotta definitely gotta raise that up a little bit. And that's the hard part is that when you do do that, then you come into that issue of getting the land racing up on the other side on the water side of the retaining wall so it it does take a little bit of work but uh, the payoff is is worth it no oh, didn't quite get there nice Uh, where am I? I'm at minus four right now. All right, let's see. So we're on number eleven here. Nice. Probably. Oh, with this wind, definitely taking it over the. And this is again a whole work. He didn't run the fairway up, but it's it's okay. It's he put some stuff out there, you know, as to mm -hmm. show you a reason why walls and problem solved. All right, let's see here. Oh, 
Oh, uh, dang it. I smoked it. Ah, uh, man, if I had come up a little bit short, that may have come back down the hill. I don't know. Put myself in a pickle. Sit down now. No, look at it roll. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Hit that f three, four feet too far. On the approach. Uh, makes the comeback, though, for the par. Uh, which one? Eleven? Yeah. <coughs> oh, the pen, you mean? We'll see if it looks like, yeah, what the pen is. Let's see if it does that on yours. It's all in yellow. Right? Oh. Uh, I didn't think it was in yellow, but there was some yellow on the approach. Uh, makes the comeback, though, for the par. Uh, which one? Eleven? Yeah. <coughs> oh, the pen, you mean? We'll see if it looks like, yeah, what the pen is. Let's see if it does that on yours. It's all in yellow. Right? Oh. Uh, I didn't think it was in yellow, but there was some yellow nearby. Oh. Well, we get up there and look at it and see. I went, I've already, I finished it, yeah. Oh, mine, it was like a focus. Besides the grid, I don't know. Each side of the hole was all yellow. Oh, uh, okay. It's yeah. Yeah, so that's w anybody, if you're watching the chat, that's the way to do it is if uh, sometimes just approach. So, like, for example, when I'm, when I'm uh, moving around with the mouse on, say that's the green. So if you come up from the bottom with that cursor and you come into it, the green, the grid will light up. Take a look what you have. But if you then turn it 90 degrees and then you come in with the cursor from this side, go off the green and come back onto it, the, gri the grid lights up. It could actually look a little different. So you should really do it from all four sides, turn it around, then come in, turn around, and come at the green from this side, and hit the grid, let the grid light up. You Sometimes you see different things, so you want to make sure to check all those angles when you do that. Why exactly it happens, I'm not 100% sure. Well, I think the actual grid changes directions when you come in from different angles. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 so you definitely want to go, oh, I went through the fairway. You definitely want to come in from all all four sides, I mean, unless you have really no slope, it's not, maybe not something to worry about, but if you have some slope near the near the pin, you definitely want to do that. All right, so he's got a little bit of, uh, not a huge fan of this little water thing, puddle, <laughs> pond, in the middle of the hole here on 12. I probably would have skipped that being water and just raise that land up more uh, watch I'm gonna hit right into it I bet you I will because I don't know how far I can hit this ball I'm not really, uh, I don't really like this <laughs> green shape I would have I would have gone right in the green shape yeah, mm, yeah not my favorite it is it's kind of a goofy looking. He, he used the X though on that one bunker on the fairway. This is kind of like an X so or if there's something to do that. Maybe. I don't know. Trying to keep some kind of theme together there or something. I uh, Erickson says to check that, you need to move the camera and revolve it around the green. Yep. Yep, definitely come in, just move off the green and come back onto it. So you take the grid off and then come back onto the green. So the grid comes back on. That's when you can oh, that's when you can check and see that type of stuff. I made a birdie on that green though, so I'm liking it a little bit better. Alright. <laughs> birdie. <laughs> birdie always helps the, the thoughts. Oh sit. Alright. I am not gonna make birdie because I have to lay up. I got my par. Uh, it's definitely an odd shaped compared to all the other greens, so a little out of place, but. Alright, so. Let's see what we got here. Oh. This looks kind of cool. Wow, yeah, this is pretty neat. Definitely very interesting looking. Looking hole. 
Oh, I think driver going to be too much, probably. Oh, I hit three wood and I worked it against the wind. Yeah, yeah that's going to be perfect. Mm-hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, again, this is something where you wanted to, you could have lowered this down a little more. Maybe drop down the front of this fairway five, six feet. Because now, I, I mean, I'm just barely seeing the back edge of the green, but it would have been awesome. Like... Let's see if I can do it with the camera. That's what I was thinking too. I was thinking from the tee. Once I hit the shot, I'm going to have a good look at this green because it's Yeah. Good. Like this is the view on my stream like that. If that would have been the view from the golfer's perspective, that would have been awesome. That would have been a really cool look. But so you would have needed to just, could have just dropped down this front end just you know, lowered it down five, six feet, maybe that would have been cool to have that full, <coughs> the full view instead of here, the actual view. I mean, I'm just barely seeing a piece of the green, so. Uh, what do you think of that tree in the bunker? Yeah, it's not bad. A little different, but it can work out. I'm going up to the 158 here. I'm <laughs> oh god oh yeah i got i got a break though look at the stream i i hit the tree and it drops right down behind it but now i'm actually like four feet from it i got a a favorable little glitch uh h the cheat code coming in quite handy right there <laughs> yeah i know i'm not sure why but I'll take it. <laughs> All right. Now I just got to make sure I don't put this in the water. Oh, not bad. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think, like you said, I think, yeah, if you'd put, like, a little bit of land around the tree so that that bunker was kind of a, like you said, like a donut, that would have been, that would be kind of cool. It's not bad as is, I mean. It's different, but whoa, almost missed the putt. All right, so I'm through 13. That's a number 14 here. So going back to the like the sculpting thing, it's a lot of times I like to I like to go back and just like try and move the camera back to where my view is, so I get the you know the view I'm looking at. Like I said, back up on that fairway looking down to that green I mean maybe who knows maybe he was farther up every time when he was testing it and so the view was there whereas he didn't have it from the back but even like tee boxes like I'll come back to the tee and just raise the camera up maybe a few feet off the ground try and head level and just try and look and just see what's your you know what the golfer is going to see or even as I'm playing it just make note of make note of what visuals you have because when you build it from up high obviously it's easy to see everything. Now again, yeah, yeah. Again, you know, it is a game, so you can obviously zoom up high. But to have that, those visuals from the ground really makes a big difference, though. All right. So again, here, nice. I like the way he's got the bunkers visible. Makes for a scary looking shot in here I think I'm going too far I think I hit too much club let's see what happens here yep uh, way too much dang it I should have turned that into the wind to knock down some yardage okay uh, That'll work. All right, in for the par on 14. Make it all pars across the back nine here. I love this idea of 15, but I'd like to see, again, you know, see a little bit more. 
He's so good at the tee shot. Mm hmm. You know, I think he could have made it the, where we could see a little hit of the green. Exactly. I would have taken. I would have taken the sculpting and just lowered, just put it all throughout all this grass and lowered it. Just lowered that grass down so you get the view of this fairway. Again, like, here, let me do it with the camera. Show. So, I mean. And the green up there to the right, because you can drop it. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I mean, even like, you know, having that, sort of that view there. Like right there, that would have been, that would have been really cool to be able to see over the grasses and down to the fairway. Yeah, you would have to clear out a lot of the trees. Well, you don't have to see the whole thing, just to give me a hint of it over there, you know, just the... Mm-hmm. Oh, there's something... Oh, the green's over there. Oh. Let's turn this. I'm feeling lucky. I pull out the drop and pop it over there. Uh-oh. Catching branches. Oh, I'm toast. Oh, I cleared it. I'm out in the junk. Out to the right out here. Again, went with the apron. It looks really cool. His colors are great. Yep. The color choice. Yeah, I like it with the. I think, if, like we said, if you're using the winter or desert theme, you gotta, you gotta green it up. And this looks more. It's just like a frost, really, as opposed to. A snowy course. There's just you can imagine this stuff all burning off once the sun gets up. Or the day warms up a little bit. All right, on to uh, number sixteen here. Yeah, again. Good rock work on the right side. Yep. Oh yeah, that looks really good. I like the way he's intermingled some color f into it. That's cool. But yeah, a good looking tee shot as well. Yeah, yeah. Good job there. Yeah, it's got a cool look. As you see on the stream, it's got a really cool look into the green. The approach shot from here looks really cool. You've seen over those rocks and everything. That's good. Okay. Oh, again, too far. Ah, uh, okay. I've got a 24-footer. Did you? Nice, nice bird. <laughs> no, nope. didn't quite get it. <coughs> All right, it's 17, part three. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm not. I get. I don't know if it's the winter theme, but the way it puts that that dark looking edge to the. I would have liked to see that gone. I don't know if you could have. I wonder if you could take the heavy rough and kind of dress it up a little bit. Yeah, maybe that would have been the way. Or, yeah, I mean, lower it down a retaining wall there, maybe or something. But uh, that that's just a tough call. I mean, that could be just the theme itself I think it is but uh, could have been dressed up a little bit better but it's not bad hang on ball mm, ah. Yeah, I mean, overall, like we said, you know, we don't want to sound like <laughs> like super negative. Overall, it's a nice hole. Yeah. I'm just trying to point out things that could have put it over the top, I guess you could say. Uh, Erickson says a rock wall with planting. Yep, that could have been cool. Yeah, because he's obviously done some good rock wall 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm not going to even get close with that chip. Come on now. Ooh, just gets the putt for par. All right. I am moving on to 18 here. Yep, another good. A good looking hole here. Wow, beast of a hole though. Yeah. I like a par five for the end, but I do like one I can Yeah. <laughs> well, sixteen mile an hour downwind. Yeah, we, might, we, might we just might have a chance today. Unless Oh no. Duh. the same. I did the same thing. Dang it. I was going to actually turn it too. I didn't. All right, let's take a look at this view. So, all right, so you get a hint of those bunkers going up the left side of the fairway there, so that's good. Yeah. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, no, there's no way I'm getting there. Let's go out here. Oh, no, get up. Get up. Oh, oh I got up on top of the bunker, but I'm still in the heavy row. Dang it. Mm -hmm. It would have been good to have a, a really good looking clubhouse complex right here on the screen. That's ex exactly what, if you look at the stream, it's exactly what I'm looking at right now. I'm just thinking of that same thing. Saying how it would have looked really cool there to have a really nice clubhouse and, you know, everything set up there. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I mean, it's not, it's not imperative, but it is something that could put your design over the top, though, just... Yep, that's true. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't do them much myself. I'm not huge on the big intricate. I like to see them, but I don't build them. I do a little bit of stuff around my clubhouses, but nothing, not major stuff. Thirty-one footer is this gonna get there? Oh, I may have had the line on that too. Darn. All right, so that is Silver Lake by Nomi Eight Two Three is his name. Uh, I thought that was really well done. Ah, I actually made par across the whole back nine. Ah, uh, very well done. Uh, like you said, we were talking about throughout the. The playthrough, I mean, some really nice looking tee shots. Uh, I like the way his texture colors. I really like what he did with that. Uh, what else? I mean, a few things. We saw a retaining wall that needed a little bit of a little bit of work there. There were a couple of times where maybe retaining walls could have been used a little bit better. Some of the side slopes, the way they kind of just dropped off into the water there, maybe dressed up a little bit. Um, had that one hole that you caught on the on the uh, the slope there, the yellow slope. So definitely something to to keep an eye on. But all in all, very good, well done. Yeah, yeah, very good. Yep, I, I gotta say that this is not going to be an easy competition to judge. <laughs> there are some really good courses coming out. All right. Oh, definitely go out and give this one a play, guys. This only has a few plays on it, so definitely. Look at Erickson showing off with a minus 10. Come on now. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, yeah, definitely give these a play. Uh, keep in mind there is a tour set up off the top of my head. I don't know the name of it, but it's in the thread. It's in the, uh, the Rookie Design Contest thread. Mayday set it up. So definitely take a look for that. I still got to play that. I don't know if... I don't know. It made, are you still in the chat? If you are, did you set that up with a time frame, or did you just leave an open time frame? Because I, uh, I would like to play through it. But we'll go. Let's give this one a ten. 
Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, he did very well with the with the tee shots. Most almost every time the bunkers were visible off the tee and just had a really just had a really nice look to it. Uh all right. So those two more. So we've got uh to do streams of I'm still going to do streams of Saint Xavier, Laurel Run, Velvet, Campo de Golf, Napig and Nanap Country Club. So I'll still end up doing streams for those even though we didn't quite go in order. But we wanted to play two courses that we hadn't played yet. So uh, I'm going to see uh, maybe tonight. I'm not sure tonight, but definitely uh, the next couple days. I'm going to try and do the rest of these on the stream so we can get them all played and have a video for each one of them. And then uh, ideally we could do the results show next week sometime. Maybe it would probably be more of an evening thing because I, um, I would like to try and get uh, as many of the judges on the stream as we can. So it would probably be more towards an evening type thing when everybody's around. So, But uh, yeah, keep an eye out for when I'll definitely post up messages when I'm going to do more of the streams. And we will get, uh, we'll make sure we get everybody on a stream. All right, guys. Thanks everybody for joining in chat. If you haven't hit the follow button, please, if you can hit that down below, that'll give you a message every time we go live, so you'll know what we have going on. Uh, you might start seeing Brett maybe jumping in a few more times. I was He did a little stream there. I don't know if he was just testing some stuff out or if he's thinking of doing some more streams. Maybe maybe I can get him to come on and do some collaborations on Wednesdays and things. But, uh, yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Uh, any questions you want to post, I'll definitely try and answer them. So. I always check uh, check that out. Uh, yeah, so that's about it. Thank you, Driver T, for coming on today. Uh, yeah, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Always fun to have someone else on the on the show for a little banter and and a playthrough. And it was cool to have a have a fellow judge on here so we could talk about the choruses. But uh, yeah, all right, guys, that's gonna do it for today. We will definitely catch you next week. Like I said, I'm hoping. Uh, to get a few more streams in the next couple of days. So keep an eye out for that. All right, guys. Talk to you later.